Do you ever have just no idea what interests to pick? In this video, I'll be literally taking you guys step by step how to use the audience insight feature that Facebook offers to find the perfect interest for any single product using proven statistics so that you don't have to guess or you don't need to use intuition. Um, and this is something that every beginner can do and you just follow this simple step and criteria I'm gonna give you in today's video. Before we get into today's video, let's start by announcing last week's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consultant course with me. The winners here. If you guys want to qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Let's get right into today's episode. So, as you can see, we're currently in the audience insight. Um, to get here, all you have to do is go to business.facebook.com. Um, click the drop down and it's the audience insight tab and let's give you guys a product example that you want to find the targeting for let's say you're looking to target for a product like this this is a current wedding product in 2020 um, this is a product that helps you comb lysis and this could be used on both you know um, humans and pets and it's a cool sort of um, lice detector and you might ask how do you do targeting for this so this is a very, very simple formula that anyone can do no matter what skill level you are because you just have to follow certain KPIs that I'm gonna literally give to you guys in today's video. So you go to Audience Insight and let's start by putting in countries such as United States, Canada, United Kingdoms, Australia, New Zealand. That's the top five countries. Now let's go ahead and put in interest, just say pets. Then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the page likes and then you wanna go here and go see more. And get around 41 people. Then you wanna go ahead and copy all this. Copy paste that onto Excel sheet. Then you want to go ahead and put in something other. So this is sort of like a health, this is sort of related to hair, so I'm going to put in hair. Um, hair care, this is definitely about hair care. Here's a bunch of interest for hair care. And then copy it right here, paste it right underneath. Next, um, lice or nits. So let's try lice. Nope, nothing there. Mix. Nope. Um, maybe pet care, because this is like a pet care product. There you go, pet care. There's a bunch of interest related to that. Paste it here, and you want to do this roughly around five times. So let's do it two more times. What else is related to this product? So we got pets, hair care, pet care, health. Perfect. Health. Health care. Hair follicle, that's pretty related to the product. Perfect, and we got all this. So let's copy this. Done. And now that you've done it five times, the more you do it, the better. So you definitely wanna, if you have time, do this like 10 times for every product you do. But this is sort of where the magic happens. What you're gonna now do is you wanna go ahead and go to column A, Sort and filter, sort by A to Z, sort. And then what you now wanna do is you wanna look for duplicated interest. So if an interest has popped up twice, that means that is a highly related interest to your product. And that's an interest you wanna use. So for example, one of tomatoes, that only appeared once, so that is not an interest that we need. So you can go ahead and delete this. A, C, L, J, that's also a single interest, this is single, these both only popped up one time so you could delete that. 
although May popped up twice. So this is definitely an interest that we should test. Amazon Fashion popped up twice, we should test this. Animal Matters, Rescue, all these, these four only popped up once. So we'll go ahead and delete them. And by the end of this, see there's a bunch of duplicate, like for example, Fable Ticks, Derek Jacks, Country Rebel, and obviously some of these interests won't be targetable within Facebook's sort of ad manager, just because Facebook is weird like that, some of these interests you just can't target. But you want to put together a list of probably like 10 interests that you could go ahead and use for targeting. And the more that an interest appears, the more better that interest is. So you definitely want to start with the interest that you see appear say three or four times. And then you then test the interest that appeared three times and you test the interest that only appeared twice. Let's see if we can find any interest that appeared three times. Here, the Mint Julep Boutique. This popped up three times. So that means this is a highly related interest to this product. And that's how you go ahead and literally use statistics to find the right interest for any given product. And this is a strategy that anyone can do. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Pretty straight to the point, this is a very actionable video. I've seen no one show this strategy. Like this is, I'm pretty sure, a strategy that not many people know about. This is something definitely I should have saved for a course, but I just want to provide you guys with as much value as possible. And that's what I'm just giving away completely for free. And all I ask is for a simple like of this video, hit the subscribe button, question of the day. How do you pick your interests? Personally, I just use intuition, um, but how do you pick your interests? Do you use a strategy similar to this? Do you use the audience insights? Let me know. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with much, much more value. Peace.